Hi guys, in this evening's video I want to do a review for you on a brush I've had for a little while now, not too long, a few weeks, um, that I'm, I'm getting on with so I thought I would review it for you. It is the Zoeva Foundation Brush. It's called Zoeva 104 Foundation Buffer. I got it from Sephora for, I think, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, it's 21.40 at the moment and it was around that I think when I got it I might have got like a voucher off it to be fair. Um, and I've been looking, I'm a bit, as you know, if you follow my channel, <laughs> obsessed with the foundation, like um, all makeup brushes, but, but specifically at the moment, I'm obsessing about foundation brushes because previously I always, in fairness, I only really use BB cream. I don't tend to use like a full heavy foundation, um, but I always used to just put it on with my fingers and just, it annoys me basically <laughs> that I end up with it on my hands. And apparently putting it on with a brush is supposed to be better for you. I've tried doing it with a beauty blender, and it's okay, but it just takes too long really for me. Um, so I've been looking for a foundation brush. So this one was recommended to me by one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. And it's not super expensive. I think 21.40 is a pretty reasonable price. Um, and so far it, I'm getting on with it. I've washed it today, <laughs> but we're not very well, it seems. Um, so I can sort of show you a vaguely clean brush, but it's a flat topped Kabuki this is what it looks like this is it's got the uh zoeva on the side and it's a 104 i like it when they have numbers for some reason it just means there's no like confusion about which one because often different firms have multiple different foundation ones or multiple different powder ones and with the numbers at least you know you're definitely getting the one that you've seen recommended or that you are looking for um so this one is the 104 it is quite dense very dense really and good for like most people I think use this for stippling I personally don't get on with that as a technique I'll show you some now just with the BB cream um so this is just my normal Garnier um BB cream in shade light so I would normally I'm more of a swiper so I sort of put it on and then like sort of buff it in whereas if you were to want to stamp, yeah, see it works both ways, but for me, that just, I don't know if you can see that, but that leaves, I mean, obviously you have to blend it in, but it seems to me that straight away that's left a whole sort of area that needs to be blended in, whereas swiping it, I mean, I guess it does the same thing, but like it just feels to me like it's much easier to just literally wipe it in. Wipe sounds like the wrong word, like paint it on essentially, as opposed to, I just feel like that would take forever and not necessarily ever sort of blend in properly. Whereas if you sort of brush, I feel like it does. Anyway, I guess it's a matter of opinion, <laughs> like how you like to put it on. But I definitely have got on with this brush. Like I don't, it literally takes like not even probably a minute to go from my normal sort of red, terrible complexion to just one little squirt of the BB cream and my whole face is covered. Um, and I think that's pretty good really, because normally I probably would use more than that weirdly if I was putting it on with my fingers, which doesn't really make any sense because there's nothing to soak it up. But I know when I've used other brushes, it's soaked up quite a lot of the product and you feel like you've just like wasted it basically because it's all in the brush. So you can see that some of it has obviously been picked up by the brush, but not really any. I don't know how to sort of show that, but look like it's a little bit dirty where it was already dirty just by me washing it. But which I mean in itself, I guess, shows that it does pick up some product. I'll try and show you on my sort of arm, like what the sort of brush stroke type thing. And I'll compare it to another one, actually. I recently got um, the brush set, which I've already reviewed from Real Techniques. And I'm quite liking this foundation brush as well. So I'll just show you if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, um, but on my arm. So this is the Zoeva one. So that's spotting it or stippling it even. That's swiping it. Actually, I should put more on for fairness. 
See, for me, immediately you can see how much better that's gone on. It's just a smooth swipe, whereas that has just left like wetness, basically. Like I know, obviously, if you blend it in, that will go. But for me, I mean, I don't know if it's different people's skin, but for me, definitely swiping is the way forward. And then I'll show you with the other brush. I've got some more on. This is the Real Techniques 200 Foundation Buffing Brush. Actually, what is it called? Expert Face Brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So, again, that is a swipe with the Real Techniques brush. And that is stippling with it. See, actually, stippling is, I think, better with this brush than with the Zoeva, because the Zoeva, you can see there's little marks, essentially, where it's like little lumps of product that need to be blended in, whereas that actually has pretty much, I mean, it still needs blending, obviously, but it's similar to the, to the swiping, the painting technique, I think, with this brush. Whereas with the Zoeva, this, the painting, or swirling, maybe you would call it, technique is much better with this one. But I mean, mainly the reason why I like this one is because it's quite a lot bigger. So it covers a broader area, so it gets the job done quicker, basically. So that's the real techniques one. And mostly it's just the end of it. Look, you can see how much of a difference that is. And even with this, the sort of samples on my arm, you can see that the Zoeva one has covered a much broader area than the real techniques one. I mean, obviously this is bigger because I've just been stippling it. But anyway, like I think it's really good basically and it's a decent price and it doesn't feel, I've washed it now a couple of times actually and there's still no hairs coming out of it. It's soft on the face. Like if you follow my channel, you'll know that I am quite sort of funny about, I'm putting more on now, like it being soft on my face. Like it, it's important to me that it is soft um, because my skin is very sensitive. I do that and I've been using this for a few weeks, like I say, and I'm really pleased with it. It fixes the problem of getting it all over my hands. It covers my face really quickly. It doesn't take up too much product. It's not that expensive. It's a good handle as well. Like this is the size of it. So it's, I've got fairly small hands, but it's a pretty decent sized brush. Like it's a good thick handle to hold. It's a good length, so it's not too, you know, wielding. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I really like it. So yeah, I, it's currently my favorite. I'm still eternally on the search for more foundation brushes because I just love buying makeup brushes. Um, but at the moment, this is the one I'm using day to day. <laughs> so yeah, I would recommend it. Um, so that's all from me for today and if you've enjoyed this video in any way then please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this product or you want me to do any other videos then let me know and I shall see you next time. Bye!